This is a little bonsai tree my aunt got for me my sophomore year of college, but I didn't bring it back to school with me because I kept forgetting to like change the little decorations she got. I got some winter decorations and some Christmas tree ornaments and since it's Christmas, I thought I would decorate it with it and I just, I want to, I got like the silver one for like the base of the tree. But I also have these snowflakes. I think I'm gonna put the silver one on. Ooh. And um, chat about the three Star Wars books I both bought yesterday on a whim. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Every time I like take it off or put it on, things just fall off of it. I have actually made all of the garland that I have for this little bonsai tree, so it's like really nice, but also uh, messy. She's messy. Sorry, you gotta go on Wikipedia. So the first book I bought was Bloodline by Claudia Gray. I read Lost Stars this summer and I really liked it, so I thought I would be good with a new, another Claudia Gray novel. Um, when the rebellion defeated the Empire at Endor, Leia Organa believed lasting peace was at hand. A hope that now seems all but doomed. In her new role as senator, Leia must grapple with the numerous threats to the fledgling democracy, the underworld kingpins, treacherous politicians, and imperial loyalists to vicious partisan battles within a new republic itself. Now the Senate desperately seeks a strong political leader to heal the divided galaxy, but as the daughter of Darth Vader, Leia is wary of a single person wielding so much power, including herself. Yet it may be her only option, for at the edges of the galaxy, a mysterious threat is growing. The canon novels I've read are Ahsoka, A New Dawn, and Lost Stars. Um, and also, like, this isn't necessarily the era that I would, like, you know, think of myself for. I'm definitely a prequels ho kind of person who is, like, thirsty for Darth Vader at all times. But also, like, I still, like, love Leia and I love the original trilogy. And I think it's going to be really interesting to, like, do some political intrigue in the new year about, like, Leia coming to terms with the fact that her dad is a psycho and um she might be a psycho too. I've heard good things about Bloodline. I'm nervous because I think this is the one that people said not bad things about but people whose Star Wars opinions I agree with um have uh mixed feelings about in terms of the way that Claudia Gray paints things Especially things about Darth Vader, and you know, we always out here worrying about the way people talk about Darth Vader. Here are my Valentine's Day ones. Aren't they cute? Here's uh, the remnants of my St. Patrick's Day uh, garland. Here's some fall garland. Then I bought Kenobi by John Jackson Miller. Um, with I read by John Jackson Miller, uh, A New Dawn by John Jackson Miller. I recently, like in the last couple days, heard really good things about this one, which is what um, prompted me to buy it over all the lots of other novels that Barnes & Noble had. For example, they had like a Barnes & Noble classic of like the novelizations of the first three movies, which I was like really tempted to buy because they're so pretty. But, um... I found it! Here it is. I found it. Oh my goodness. But I think I'm more interested in this man right here. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Tatooine. The harsh desert planet on the edge of civilized space is an unlikely place to find a Jedi Master in hiding. Known to locals only as Ben, the bearded and robed off-worlder shares nothing of his past and goes to great pains to remain an outsider. But when violence erupts between some of Tatooine's farmers and a tribe of marauding Tusken Raiders, Ben finds himself drawn into the conflict. It's a move that may reveal him as Obi-Wan Kenobi, a hero of the Clone Wars enemy of the Empire and endanger his true mission as protector of the galaxy's last hope. 
Uh, but bl but with blood unjustly spilled, innocent lives threatened, and a ruthless opponent unmasked, Ben has no choice but to summon Jedi wisdom and the formidable power of the Force. I heard it's sad, which is like the number one quality I look for in a Star Wars novel. I want to know, I want Obi-Wan, I don't want Obi-Wan to be sad, but I want to read about Obi-Wan being sad. I got myself some Kenobi being sad on Tatooine. And then I got, um... Lords of the Sith by Paulus Kemp, which I've heard okay things about. I can't remember anything like specific. I keep looking for Rogue Planet, but like nowhere sells it, and I don't want to like buy it. Ugh, it's a what a struggle. Lords of the Sith by Paulus Kemp. On Ryloth, a planet, a planet crucial to the Empire as a source of slave labor and the valuable narcotic called spice. <laughs> I didn't. When they call it a narcotic, do they mean like just a drug or do they mean like an actual narcotic? Like I did not think, like I knew Spice was a drug. I did not think it was like heroin. I, I honestly, I thought it was like meth, which you would not call a narcotic. I doubt that they're going to give me more information. Let me know in the comments if Lords of the Sith lets me know what kind of drug Spice is. The valuable narcotic called Spice. An anti-imperial resistant movement has ar arisen. But Emperor Palpatine will not be denied the embattlement, embattled oh God, world's precious resources. With his merciless disciple Darth Vader at his side, the Emperor undertakes a personal mission to crush the insurrection. But the tide turns when an ambush maroons the two Sith on the planet's surface. Oh, Palpatine's in this. Ooh, two lords. I know it says lords in the title, but like, I can't read. Facing an enemy army with only their lightsabers and each other to depend on, Palpatine and Vader must decide if the brutal bond they share will make them vis victorious allies or lethal adversaries. I like really want to read about Darth Vader, and that's why I bought this book. Um, I almost bought... <laughs> That's why I bought that book. I'm excited for that one uh, in particular, I think, now. Um, I think um, I almost bought Thrawn Alliances, but I want to read the first Thrawn, like the first of the canon. There's two canon Thrawn books, yeah. I want to read the first of the canon Thrawn books before I read, like, Thrawn Alliances. So that's why I didn't, I also didn't want to buy Throne Alliances in hardcover. I, honestly, I wasn't going to try to play $30 for a Star Wars novel. So I paid $30 for three Star Wars novels. Anyway, um, these are the three Star Wars novels I bought. Bloodline by Claudia Gray, Kenobi by John Jackson Miller, there he is, and um, Lords of the Sith by Paul S. Kemp. Paul S. Kemp is the only new Star Wars author I've got on my shelf. Um, and... Um, if you have read any of these Star Wars novels, let me know. Um, and if you've got any recommendations for me, please let me know. I'm looking for Star Wars novels recommendations. 2019 is the year that I only read Star Wars novels.